I'm president and executive director of Hip Hop Congress. Um, I'm also a member of the Fourth of the Second Human Rights Campaign. How do you spell your name? S H A M A K O. Last name N O B L E. So before I say what I have to say, I just have a couple questions for the media because I want to get some comments here. Um, how many of the members of the press believe that uh, police officers lie? <laughs> politicians lie. Okay, we have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I read, you looked at, saw, heard dozens of reports yesterday on our march on the second, on the peace march on the first. And it's amazing to see how pictures of police officers there are and how few of the actual march. I think I, I actually said truth. I don't think I've seen a picture of the march in any papers. <laughs> Not a single one. And um, I can't quite figure out why. Do you guys know why? Were there, were there no pictures taken? Did you guys just <laughs> look, look, I'm gonna push back for a second because while well, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to paint the media in a big brush, and I certainly have the same criticism from some of my peers here, if you don't want to be treated with a big brush, you know, we did a story on it, because our journalists were boxing, and King of went off right next to our journalists as well. So I'd appreciate, maybe it's more better for you to call out specific people here for, for their lack of hope. You know, I'd like, I'd like to do that. I'd like to call out um, specific people. Uh, but actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the media to start taking care of itself. I'm going to ask you, as a member of the media, to start calling out members yeah. of the media. Yeah. Right. yeah. situation where um, you have various professions, um, law enforcement included, uh, who, have, who have chosen or have been forced or who have, do not know how to, for lack of better terminology, police themselves. Um, and I think that we are at a time and in a place where uh, the neutrality um, of the media is a liability. I hate to say it that way, but the problem is that if you don't think that they lie and they know that, checkmate. Um, and so we have to start asking ourselves a couple of real key questions. Um, I think that when we're asking the question, did they find the explosives, if that question is here, then this is the wrong place. The very simple approach to that is, hey, officers, can you guys show us the explosives? Has anybody seen them? Anyone? Have you guys asked them? You're like, hey, you know, can you see the explosives you guys found? <laughs> and, 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 by, and by the way, just for note, as far as I know, and I'm no lawyer, uh, urine's not a felony. Um, <laughs> I mean, that, doesn't that sound a little desperate? You know, it's like extreme, right? Like explosives in Europe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm, and I'm not, I'm not trying to make a joke about it, and I'm not trying to make, I'm not trying to make light about it, because what we're dealing with is very serious. But that's exactly my point. We're not out here because we just want to complain. We're not out here because we just want to like create chaos or, or ruckus. We're out here because people are dying. People are dying. This is not a game. Like, why does everyone think this is a game? Why do these politicians think this is a game? Why does the sheriff think this is a game? Why does the mayor think this is a game? This is not a game. Quote me on that. This is as real as real gets. They are manipulating. They are lying. They are cheating. And unfortunately, they are using the media as their pawns to do so. And we can only go so far. We can only write a press release so well. We can only write a press release so well. At one point, there's not much more we can do. Now, I think I've said this in two different press conferences, and I'll say it one more time because it doesn't seem like it's sinking in. We are in a country that has the remark, and believe me, I just want to clarify something. I'm a proud American. <laughs> I love America. I've been all over this country. I love the people of America. I love the people over here. They're Americans. I mean, you, know, you might not like that. You might not. <laughs> but they're just as much part of our country as anybody else. So this is not some sort of anti-American, oh, I'm all upset kind of commentary here. 
But the reality of the situation is that we are in a country with a history of political repression. That's very, it's very, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not like making this up. You know? <laughs> Track from what happened today either. But if you think that what's happening today is separate from the entire history of this country, I don't know what to tell you. I don't even know what I can do with that. Because the reality of the situation is, the reality of the situation is, you only have to ask yourself one simple question. Who has the power and the legacy to put $50 million on the table to put fences all around the streets of a city that the people have paid for? Thank you. 